To knit your heel, you're only going to use half of your pegs. For our sock, we were using 30 pegs to knit the sock. So for our heel, we're going to use 15. We're going to use one long side and one short side. And this is actually our 15th peg. And this is also called a short row method because you're not using all of your pegs. You're only using half of them. You're going to be going back and forth between these two rows of pegs to complete your heel. You're going to be reducing your stitches and then expanding back out for the second part of your heel. So let's begin. We're going to knit in the flat stitch all across our pegs until we get to the stitch right before our last heel stitch, which is the 14th peg. So we're going to knit in that flat stitch. Remember that's just bottom loop over the top working yarn. This is our 14th stitch and this is our 15th. Now we're going to do a wrap on our 15th peg. So we're going to take our stitch off the peg and we're going to hold it. We're going to wrap around the back of the peg toward the front, put that loop back on the peg, and now the yarn is coming from underneath the stitch. Now you're going to take that yarn and lay it across your pins and we're going to knit in the opposite direction. But we want to be careful not to knit that wrap stitch. And we're going to knit all the way around until we get to that first peg and then we're going to do another wrap. You want to just make sure you've got those stitches pushed down. Now we're ready to wrap our first peg. And remember to wrap a peg, you take the stitch up, lift it up off of the peg, wrap around the peg, and bring the yarn to the front of the peg, and you put back on the loop. Now you're ready to knit in the opposite direction. And you've got to remember not to knit that peg that it was just wrapped. You knit the next peg. And you're going to knit back to the stitch right before your last wrapped peg. We're going to continue around the board. And here's the stitch right before our last wrap peg. So we're going to wrap this stitch. We're going to take the stitch off the peg we're going to wrap the yarn around the back of the peg and come out the front and then put the loop back on the peg. We're going to wrap around, actually we're going to push down these stitches and then we're going to knit back, being careful not to knit that wrapped peg. Take your bottom loop up over your top. So continue back around to the stitch right before your last wrap stitch. Remember, push down your stitches. So here is your last wrap stitch. So here is the stitch before your last wrap. So you're going to actually wrap this peg. So you're going to pull up the stitch, wrap the peg, put down the loop back on the peg, and turn and knit in the opposite direction. You're going to push down on those pegs, pushing those stitches down, and then you're going to knit, being careful not to knit that wrapped peg. Now you're at the stitch right before the last wrap. Now you see we have one wrap stitch here, a second one here, and this one is unwrapped. So we're going to wrap this third peg. We're going to take the loop off again and we're going to hold it, wrap the peg, put the loop back on the peg, and turn and knit in the opposite direction. Push down the stitches and take the bottom loop up over the top and continue around. 
Okay, now we're at the stitch right before our last wrap, so we're going to wrap that stitch. We're going to take the stitch off. Again, we're going to hold it, wrap the peg, put down that loop, and then we're going to knit in the opposite direction.